Yo, what's up everyone, how's it going? This is Jamie Staples back with another vlog, but it's not really a normal vlog today. I'm gonna to talk about something a little bit different. Someone asked me a question on my stream today. I've been thinking about it all day and night, um, trying to come up with like a pretty good answer. And I, and I had one, and I know what the answer is, but I didn't know how to explain it very well to you guys. I thought it'd be something interesting to talk about and something I've wanted to talk about for a long time, but just haven't taken the project on of doing it correctly. Um, and that is, the question was, why do you keep grinding? day after day. And that doesn't seem like a complicated question, right? It's like I keep grinding because it's going to get me closer to my goals. Seems simple. But why are my goals what they are, you know? Um, why, why do I do the things I do? Why do I dream so big? Like, why do I live that life, right? Uh, and I think the way to explain it is to look back at some of my past sources of inspiration, some of the people that um, I attempt to emulate and, and, and the people that have said things that resonate with me um, as I've grown up as a, as a human. So, uh, the first person would be Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs was actually a pretty big part of my upbringing, surprisingly enough. My dad was a huge Apple or Macintosh fan from before I was born. So, a big part of my childhood was um, being interested in that as well, you know, and talking to him about new products or new software or rumors about new products or new software um, and sort of being really involved in that world. So I've read Steve Jobs' biography, uh, I've watched a bunch of online clips about him, and there's a clip from um, this documentary called Steve Jobs' Secrets of Life. Um, I'm going to play that now, I'll put a link down in the description, just a, a small bit of it, but if you want to watch the whole thing, it's in the description. So, the thing I would say is, When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Um, but life, th that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. So this clip is really, really important, and I think uh, I, I didn't learn to think this way from this clip, right? I, I didn't hear it, and it clicked for me. Is the other way, in that something happened where I lived part of my life out of the ordinary, part of my life out of this pre-constructed, this is life mold, you know? Uh, and then I heard this clip after, because I was having all these feelings of like, holy crap, like what? what is possible, and it was, a, it was something that backed up these feelings, you know, gave me more confidence uh, to live them. So, um, Steve Jobs, to me, is, is someone that gives me the confidence to, to think differently and not really have to apologize for that. And um, I think it's part of the reason why I don't seem to fit the typical mold of what people want me to be. Uh, for better or worse, right? Um, and I want to make it clear, guys, I'm not comparing myself in any way, shape, or form to any of the people that I'm mentioning here. These are the people that I look up to and I try and learn from. The second source of inspiration would be Kevin Smith. Um, Kevin Smith is a filmmaker, a podcaster. He has a podcast network called Smodcast, and I used to listen to it all the time when I played online poker before I started streaming. Um, and... He's been a really big source of inspiration for me, even though I'm not really into comics, and that's what most of his, uh, his stuff is about. So this speech clip that I'm going to play for you guys, just a small s section of it, is the one that hits home the most in terms of his philosophy and, and how he's imparted on me. So check it out. My brother comes out, and I was like, oh, can't believe it, right? He goes, yeah, it's pretty tough. And I said, how was it? Because my brother was there. He was staying with my my. my parents and uh, Donald without missing a beat my brother goes dad died screaming and I was like what and he goes dad died screaming I said what do you mean he's like well he woke up and he was kicking the sheets off and screaming about being on fire and he was so hot and so hot and get him water and fucking screaming the scream got louder and louder and it reached a fever pitch and he died and I don't know how else to say it but dad died screaming and that fucking hit me like a Mack truck once again, I'll put that full link in the description. So, um, 
this this clip in in the speech really hits home on the futility of life itself to me and and that's something that I've certainly struggled with from I don't know 17 till to this day somewhat but I, I've gotten a lot better at that right um, I do need to take a, a quick quick aside here and talk a little bit about philosophy which is a discipline I was interested in in university um, so when the topic of free will came up in my intro philosophy course, it really threw me for a loop. I came into the course knowing who I was, knowing what I wanted, and uh, you know I never really questioned anything. And when we got to the the topic on free will, everything went for a loop. Um, and and that was because I found myself believing in hard de determinism, hard determinism, which means that everything that happens in life um, is because of a prior cause, which seems to make sense, right? You drop Mentos into the Coke bottle, it explodes, you know, prior cause, Mentos, Coke. Um, but that extends to everything, in my mind. Um, so, me saying these words was something that I don't think I had the free will to choose to do. I think that's based on prior causes. Um, so everything that has happened from right now back in my life has led me to say this in the way I'm saying it exactly like this. Um, and I don't have any of the influence on that, what happened behind me, my parents or my upbringing or my biology. And all the decisions I've made suffer from the same problem in that they are all based on prior causes. Something as seemingly random as flipping a coin is going to actually not be random but determined based on everything that led up to that point um, including the wind speed <laughs> you know every breath of air every human has ever taken uh, and the power in someone's thumb to flip the coin it was always going to come this way the how much the pavement was worn down was all going to be always going to be worn down that much um, so so anyways if you want to look more into free will you can check out sam harris's book uh, called free will uh, there's a bunch of lectures on youtube about it as well you can, you can go through that that path uh, yourself um, and I, I would like to caution, I, I watched a Stanford University first year lecture series on philosophy. And I'm going to paraphrase the professor, I couldn't find uh, it online, I think it's offline now. Uh, but the professor basically said, you know, be careful that you want to go down the road you know, this road and learn these things when you start thinking about this because once you sort of cross a path and, and you unlock these ideas, you can't really close the box back up. Um, so ignorance might be bliss. I don't think I'm a happier person for going through this thought experiment. Um, I, I think it like, it, it made me less happy. So be aware of that, but if you are interested, you can check it out. So anyways, hard determinism is, is kind of a problem for someone with my personality. Um, you know, it, it makes it so that what's the point of anything is sort of a, a big, is a big problem. Um, and, and getting back to Kevin Smith and why I think this is a clip, clip is important, I'm gonna play a second bit now. I'd known my father my whole life at that point. And you know, some people here worship their parents. My father was not a, a guy that, you know, made fucking advancements in technology or did anything really all that important in life whatsoever. I remember asking him once, Dad, what were your dreams? And he was just like, well, I just wanted to get married and have kids. So I guess it kind of happened. He was a good dude. And he worked at the post office his whole fucking life, you know, just to pay for the family that he had. He didn't necessarily like working for the post office or believe in the mail or something, but it was what he needed to do to pay for his fucking wife and and his kids and stuff like that. Um, just a good fucking dude, an upstanding kind of citizen, went to church, always did what he was told and shit. You know, his wife bossed him around, but he was fucking happy to do whatever she said. Good fucking dude, good dude, deserved way better than to die screaming. But that good dude, he did die screaming. And I remember thinking, oh my God, in this world, where even a good man like my old man is gonna die screaming, there's no point in not trying to achieve every fucking dream that I have. This is my eventual end. One day, that's it. So why not defeated this problem of determinism, right? It, uh, 
It basically presented the other side. Why? Well, there's no answer. Why not? Well, there's no answer. Therefore, it was equal, right? Why and why not? There, there, was, there was no difference in my mind. The world is full of fucking why, man. You tell people something, they'll tell you why. Throw a rock and you'll hit somebody with why. Like, hey man, I wanna make a movie, why? Why do you think you could do that? Why? Why? Nobody else is doing it. Why are you doing it? There's so much fucking why. You go out and you find why not. You surround yourself with why not. People are just like, why not? Where you're like, hey man, I'm going to try something. Like, all right, why not? Let's give it a shot. People will try to help you do your dreams, make your dreams come true and shit. And you do the same for fucking them. We're all in this together. Um, so why not was something that, that was, that was, you know, That could change the way way you live, you know? Any desire that, any desire that you may have, you could, even if it's irrational, because determinism would tell you that any sort of desire, there's, there's no point. You shouldn't have desires, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just like, there's no point to anything, so why? Um, so, even if you have an unrational, you know, irrational desire, you just go for it because why not is as equal as why. So you just you just be that way, um, and and why not really change that for me and sort of help me defeat that that line of of thinking and overcome it. Um, so he eliminated the fear I had in in creating and putting things out there into the world, and then he also um, helped me understand the people that didn't like what I did, right, um, or he didn't at the time, but he's the inspiration I lean on now, in that those people are why people. Um, so, the third source of inspiration would be Gary Vaynerchuk, who is a newer source of uh, inspiration for me. I've found him in the last two years or so. I'm gonna play a clip of his now, again, link in the description. Patience and passion. Let's start with passion. There is way too many people in this room right now that are doing stuff they hate. Please stop doing that. There is no reason in 2008 to do shit you hate. None. Promise me you won't. Because you can lose just as much money being happy as hell. <laughs> so uh, these clips emphasize the importance of acting and doing so as big as possible. Um, when Gary speaks, he implies a sense of urgency, right? You need to do it now. He, he still creates content on YouTube. I will also link his YouTube um, page. You guys should definitely check him out, it's great stuff. But Gary is all in, all the time. Uh, that's all he does, so. So why do I dream big? Why do I think this way? Uh, why do I grind? Why do I play poker? Why do I study? Why do I put out videos? Why do I do anything that I do? Um, and the answer is why not? You know, the, the world, everything I know around me that has been created was created by people just like me. Um, and life, life and time is too important. There's not enough of it to spend any of it being not exactly who I want to be. To a T. Use every single chip I have. Move all in on myself and, and, uh, and go for it. So, I dream big. That's what I do. And uh, hopefully you guys found that interesting. Till tomorrow. We'll see you later. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I promise you can monetize that shit. If you love ALF, do an ALF blog. You collect Smurfs, Smurf it up. Whatever you need to do, do it.